Prince Harry to treat Meghan Markle with romantic surprise after Valentine's Day apart. Meghan Markle will receive a romantic surprise from Prince Harry after the couple will be forced to spend Valentine's Day apart because of royal duties. Meghan Markle faces the prospect of spending her first Valentine's Day as a married woman along after it was announced husband Harry will spend February 14 on a visit to the Arctic Circle. Kensington Palace announced last month Prince Harry will spend the day meeting Royal Marines learning to survive the extreme cold as part of the exercise clockwork winter training. Royal commentator Lonnie Love however suggested the Duchess of Cambridge could still be treated to a surprise on the most romantic day of the year. The Real Talk host said, Kensington Palace has announced Prince Harry has an event on February 14 that will take him out of the country entirely. He is the Captain General of the Royal Marines for the UK. He will have to leave on February 14 to head 200 miles south of the Arctic Circle. He has to oversee the training of the Royal Marines. The good thing is that is just during the day. Ms. Love suggested Prince Harry could decide to board a plane at the end of the training session to spend Valentine's Day evening with Meghan. She continued, he could charter a flight back so he could be there with her in the evening. I think that's what he's going to do. Prince Harry received the appointment as Captain General of the Royal Marines from his grandmother the Queen in December 2017. The role was handed down to him from Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, who served in the position for nearly 64 years. The prince celebrated his link to the Navy branch, and as a mark of respect for his grandfather, by donning their ceremonial uniform when he married Meghan Markle in May 2017. Harry's visit to the Arctic Circle will mark the 50th anniversary of Commando Helicopter Force and Joint Helicopter Command deploying to Bardafoss in Norway. The Duke, in his role as Captain General Royal Marines, will fly to the air station in Bardafoss on February 14 to meet military personnel living and training across six months of the year on the base. While missing out on their first Valentine's Day as a married couple, Meghan and Harry will have the chance to spend time together in Morocco during a three-day visit scheduled for the end of this month at the request of the government. Meghan is heavily pregnant, with her baby due in late April or early May, but is apparently able to take part in the overseas visit. Kensington Palace said in a short statement, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will visit Morocco from Saturday 23 February to Monday 25 February 2019. This visit is at the request of Her Majesty's government. Full details of the visit will be announced in due course. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are following in the footsteps of Harry's father Prince Charles, who carried out a major tour of Africa last year visiting Ghana, Nigeria and the Gambia. Following the UK's Brexit vote the members of the royal family have made a string of visits to Europe, helping to renew and strengthen the UK's ties with the continent as the Brexit process progressed. The monarchy uses what has been termed soft diplomacy to promote the UK brand whenever they travel abroad. It now appears part of the focus of overseas royal tours may be on Africa, which the Prime Minister has already described as having incredible potential. Upon their return from Morocco, the pair is expected to make the final arrangements before officially moving to Frogmore Cottage, on the Windsor Estate, ahead of the birth of their first child in the spring.